over the weekend, I met a very interesting guy that makes about one to $1.4 million a year profit with his online business and the way that he makes money online. And the way that he makes money online is very, very interesting because instead of him doing a business model that he does not necessarily like, his business model essentially finds people that he wants to go out and travel with, that he wants to go out and create content with, that he wants to go ahead and go on epic adventures with. And he literally makes money by curating a group of people that he essentially wants to go ahead and make money with. Now, why is this like a big, 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 big realization for me? It's because imagine if you could go out and create a business where essentially your business is attracting more people that are just like you, that also make money online, that allows you to go out and travel around the world. Like if you go ahead and and ask me, I think that's one of the best ways to ever make money online. To literally live a life where you travel, meet people just like you, and have fun. Now let's actually see why this online business works really, really well, and how he was able to go ahead and do one to $1.5 million a year in profit just starting off and he's 23 years old and this is one of his like first online businesses and how you go ahead and do the exact same thing because this is all I want, right? Like if you really think about it, what I truly wanted, the reason why I wanted to make money online in the beginning was because most of my friends were losers, man. Like most of my friends in high school, most of my friends in college, they weren't doing anything and I would try so hard to bring them up. I would try so hard to go ahead and have them succeed but they seemed like they didn't want it as much as I, I wanted. They, they weren't as hungry as I was to create like unlimited freedom for myself. And it's a huge pain point. It's a huge pain point. You know, when you're like his, his demographic is about like ages like 18 to 23, right? When I was 18 to 23, I remember just how much of a pain point it was when I wanted to go ahead and make money, when I wanted to go ahead and travel, when I wanted to go ahead and literally go ahead and pick up girls with like other friends that were also making money and we were just traveling around the world and going this epic adventure. But most of my friends weren't about it. Most of my friends were already, you know, falling in love with their high school and college sweetheart. Everyone was coupling up. Everyone was already talking about marriage. Everyone was already already thinking about, you know, graduating college and then getting a mortgage and doing all that stuff and getting this nice job. And I literally thought I was crazy. I literally thought I was crazy because I saw everyone else around me getting married, getting kids, uh, graduating college and getting a job and, and moving on with the life. And I knew that there was something inside of me that wanted something more than just school and grades and getting a house and getting a job and just starting a family. I wanted a life of freedom. And for me, that was a huge pain point. If I knew that this, you know, for example, community existed when I was younger, I would have been like, yo, sign me up for that. And he could really go ahead and speak to that pain point because he is in that demographic. You know, this guy, he targets a pain point where it's essentially people ages 18 to 23 male that essentially have no friends that are just as hungry or motivated as them. They all already are making money online with their online business. And the only business model it is, is it's literally a community where essentially once a week they go ahead and go on like a Zoom call and they just go talk. They find people that are just like each other and then they'll go ahead and meet in random cities and countries around the world. Like (laughs) That's a really cool business, right? Just imagine what it would be like to go ahead and make money online where essentially you make money online to make friends that are just like you, that have the same interests as you, that have the same values as you, that have the same everything as you. I, I truly believe that it's, it's such an amazing business model. Uh, so how did he go out and do this? Well, remember, the first step is sticking with the pain point and talking to the pain point. Now, one of the best businesses you could go ahead and do is if you create a business that solves a problem that you essentially have. Does that make sense? Like some of the best businesses ever were because they were solving an initial pain point that you initially had. The reason why, for example, Tim Ferriss, the author of 4 Hour Workweek, the reason why he invested in so many different projects that did really well is because he was a consumer of that product. He wanted to go ahead and learn language, so guess what, he invested in Duolingo. When you go ahead and scratch your own itch, those usually are the best businesses you could ever do. And what this guy ended up doing is he scratched his own itch. He was right, 23 years old, There was no one else around him that was making money. He was kind of like in the city where everyone was just going and drinking and partying and doing drugs and chasing girls. None of them were actually motivated to create success. And he was like, you know what? I want to create a community where people are just like me and we just want to work and hustle and grind and make money and travel and do all these things and do all that stuff. And he literally scratched his own itch. So he literally went and targeted that pain point that he essentially had. So the question to you is what current pain point do you already have that you could go out and scratch it. For most people, it's communities. For most people, they're freaking lonely. For most people, they feel like they're going crazy because they look at all of their friends, and they're all doing dumb things, and you have to literally get drunk to go ahead and even have a conversation with them because you know that you already have different mindsets as them. You have different goals as them. You have different futures in, as them, but because they're the only friends that you have, you feel like you have to belittle yourself and get drunk to just hang out with them. And how do I know that? Because I did that, man. There were times when I was like making money line, doing all these things, and I would talk to my friends in high school and college, and the things that we would talk about were so like idiotic. 
they weren't motivational, they weren't inspirational, they weren't something that I wanted to do, and I just couldn't talk to them sober. I literally couldn't talk to them sober. There was a time where I would literally, like before I would go out and talk to them, I would take about like eight to 10 shots of tequila, meditate for a bit, and then dumbify my brain so I could essentially have a conversation that didn't mean anything, right? And it was, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. And, and I literally wish that there was more online communities when I was getting started because I had to learn the hard way, man. I had to go out and take a one-way trip ticket to Asia. I had to go out and find all of my friends one by one by one. I had to find them in either hostels or events or business masterminds one by one by one by one. And it was really, really hard. If, if, you, if you would have told me when I was 18 and 23, oh, you just gotta go ahead and pay X amount of dollars every single year for your membership fee, and here's an access to all of the people just like you, I would have signed up so fast, right? So let's actually break down more about the business model, right? So that is the business model, the pain point. What is the actual product? The product or the offer is $1,400 a year in memberships, that's it. It's $1,400 a year in your membership fee, in your membership whatever, right? Think about like a membership club, right? And $1,400 a month, right? $1,400 a year, and literally just weekly Zoom calls. And then maybe they'll meet up in random places. But that's really it, that's essentially the business model. There's about like, like 800 to 1,000 people, depending on whatever's in there. And just like that, this guy who is creating this community, just like that, makes about 1. Mil, 1, 1.5 mil a year just, just by curating people that just like him, right? So it, it's a pretty simple business model. It's like once a year, all these people, these 800 or 1,000 people pay about $1,400. Just like that, money coming in, renewal, subscription fees, right? He doesn't have to worry about the up and down and all those things, right? It's literally that. And if you really understand that the future of making money online is just creating these communities that are just like you, like for example, finding more people that are just like you in the ethers of the internet and then just putting them together, doing Zoom calls and then meeting up in the world and just conquering cities together with, that is literally the future where everyone is kind of like becoming their own leaders and the person that has the most, you know, just inspiration or the most like leadership qualities are the ones that are gonna succeed the most with this. How are you gonna go ahead and build something like this? Well, if you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and build something like this, you wanna go ahead and find a niche that you fit into. For example, let me go ahead and do it for me, right? If I was gonna go ahead and do this and I was gonna start all over again and I was like, you know what, I wanna find other entrepreneurs just like me. Well, who am I? Okay, I'm Asian. So maybe I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a, an entrepreneurship circle of all Asians. Okay, number two, uh, I'm between, I'm, I'm in my 20s. So it would be Asian entrepreneurs in their 20s. Okay, the other one. Asian entrepreneurs in, my, in the 20s that make over 10 grand a month, right? And I would just dive deep into who exactly who it is that I am, right? Who it is that I am, and I would wanna go ahead and attract more people just like me. Let's go even more specific. Single, Asian males, over the age of 20 that make $10,000 a month that likes Eastern European girls. Look at that, like I go niche and niche and niche and niche. And my goal is to literally go ahead and for example, create a very specific community of people that have the exact same desires as me. That is literally it because the reason why is if they have the same desires as me and I'm just a little bit further than them, I could sell them on so many different things once they're, once they're in the community. Does that make sense? Like there's so many ways to go ahead and for example, monetize people that are just like you because you know exactly what it is that you want. So if I go ahead and travel, say I wanna go ahead and go to Japan because I wanna go ahead and go snowboarding, right? If all of these people are in my community and they also wanna go ahead and do the same thing, I'd be like, hey, everyone, put in 5K, 10K, let's all go to Japan, I'll organize everything. And now, not only do you get to go essentially for free, but you get paid to do the things that it is that you want, but you also bring a bunch of friends with you that also have the same values. It's literally one of the best business models I've ever seen, and I'm really thinking about like opening up something like this in the future, right? Now, another one. You wanna go ahead and find out the pain points in that niche. So, it's very easy to find out what the pain points are because you look in the mirror and you're like, well, what are my pain points? So, when I was getting started, I could tell you all of my pain points. The reason why I wanted to really make money online was because my heart was broken. My heart was broken, the girl that I loved so much Literally, I thought I was gonna go ahead and marry this girl. I thought I was gonna have kids with this girl. It just didn't work out. And what, what happened was, when we started getting closer, closer, and closer together, I started just doing like what every single stupid young guy would do. And I just started cutting off all my friends because I was like, it's me against the, me and you against the world, baby girl. And before you know it, you know, I literally had no more male friends. And literally my entire world was this girl. And you know, I, I thought it was gonna go ahead and do really, really well. But essentially when we, when we broke up, my, my world was kind of like ruined, man, because it's like I had no more male friends, right? I had no brothers, if you would. And the one thing that was kind of like my everything was just gone, so I, I literally had nobody. I literally had nobody. I was alone, 
All my friends were going to college. I ended up dropping out of dental school and I was like, you know what? This freaking sucks. I'm, I feel alone. All of my friends, I have no more friends anymore, right? All of my friends are now in college having fun, having, living the best years of my life and now I'm moving back home with mom and dad, right? So what were my pain points in that time? Many different things is I didn't have friends that had similar values as me. I didn't have time dating, right? Because I was just focusing on my business and I was focused all in on like making money that I lived back home with mom and dad. Uh, I, I know I, I, in that period of time I was getting laid. <laughs> like I couldn't bring girls back home to mom and dad. Are you, are you serious? Like with, with very strict Asian parents, they would literally spank my butt, right? So that was a lot of pain points that I, I, that I just mentioned. Okay, so it's like, I wanna go to make money. I was alone, I had no friends, you know, I wanted to go ahead and date, but I just didn't know how because when I went and dated and I went and went out to the clubs and the nightclubs, I literally would just go with like pickup artist friends. And sometimes they're not really the best people to go out with because <laughs> instead of just having a good time, they're just kind of like scanning the, the, the club or the venue and they just want to go ahead and approach and approach and approach and approach. And it just doesn't, it's not a good look. Like the pickup artists that go to the club and the bars, if you go out with the pickup artist, it's not, it's not fun. You know, your value goes down. You look like a loser. You, you, you realize that, that everyone else in that club sees you as that weird pickup artist guy that's just trying to go ahead and take value. No one wants to be around like a pickup artist guy. And because I was associated with that, no one wanted to be around me. So these were huge, huge, huge pain points. These are huge, huge, huge pain points. So if I was gonna go ahead and understand the pain points about those specific things, the next step that I needed to go ahead and do is just create content around those things, right? What were all the things that I talked about? Okay, how to make 10 grand a month. That's a content idea that I could put on a bunch of different platforms. What's another one? How to find a girl. How to go ahead and date a girl while living at home with your mom and dad. How to go ahead and find friends that also are successful. What to do if you have no friends. How to deal with loneliness. Like these were all the pain points that I was going through in that moment in time. So if I wanna go ahead and attract more people just like me, guess what I'm gonna go ahead and do? I'm gonna go ahead and create more content just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do more things that, that, that I had. I would speak more to my younger self that had those pain points and essentially what I would do is I would just start attracting more people just like me. And I think that's just amazing because when you go out and attract people just like you, you could literally live a very happy, fulfilled life where you don't feel alone anymore. And what I would do is I would just write a long list. Even like right now I'm creating this piece of content, why? Because someone asked me, Mike, how do you make money online? So guess what? These are the people that people ask me, so I'm creating content about it. This is a problem that I had when I was younger. How do I make money online? What are all the ways that I can make money online? So this is me speaking to my younger self, another pain point that I essentially had, right? Now the moment you go ahead and create content, you wanna create content around those pain points on either Twitter, YouTube, and all the shorts. What I like doing is I like focusing mostly on like long form content. The reason why is because this one video, right? If cut up in a bunch of different shorts and reels and all that stuff, it could literally be on all different platforms. Like I could focus on, for example, making these videos for YouTube, but I could have a team of editors chop this up and put it on Instagram reels, on shorts, on YouTube shorts, on TikToks, and just like that, my message gets spread to so many different platforms, right? So I'm literally focusing all in on this one video, but from the value that I create from this video, you know, there's gonna be so many different clips that people go, could go ahead and clip and put it in all different platforms, right? Another one that you wanna go ahead and do, is get other people in that niche and record podcast conversations with them. This will attract more people like you on the internet. So one of the things that I like doing with all of my friends is I generally like the people that I hang out with. Like the people that I hang out with, they're some of the most amazing human beings and, and the only thing that I want out of life is to find more people just like them. Because you know I, I don't wanna spend time with people that drain energy from me, neither should you. Like if you go ahead and spend time with people that are negative, I'm talking about men and women that are constantly taking from you, taking your time and your energy and your, your money and your resources, and they're not actually giving you like this happy-go-lucky energy, why are you spending time with them? I just want more people like the people that are already in my, in my, in my circle, right? So what, what have we been doing? Find the people that you want more of, you interview them and have them interview you. Ask them questions that you are naturally curious about and have them ask you questions that they are naturally curious about. Because if they are naturally curious about certain things that you have, that you have results on, and you go ahead and speak in a way where it's a conversation directly to them, and then you use that to cut it up in a bunch of different content, you can essentially attract more of those people. Here's an example. I had this guy in his 30s, multi-millionaire, decamillionaire, go ahead and interview me. And the questions that he asked me are probably questions that other DECA millionaires would probably go ahead and ask me. So if he went and, and asked me certain questions and I answered those questions, then the odds of me finding more people like him in the ethers of the internet are a lot higher. It's the same thing. If I have like 
uh, people that are really, really good at dating, right? Like, so one of the things that I like spending time with are people that are generally good with like men and male and female dynamics, right? Because I just didn't have that when I was younger. I was weird, man. I was like that Asian kid that had an accent that kind of looked like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, but I wanted also look like a super saiyan. So I wanted to go ahead and dye my hair blonde, which luckily I never did. Like I was a weird kid. So I never really understood the dynamics of men and women. So obviously I just want to spend time with more people that are essentially chads that know how to go ahead and date women. If I go ahead and ask them questions, on all the things that I'm curious about. They, if they were gonna go ahead and build an audience, they would attract more people like me, and in vice versa. If they asked me questions, then I could essentially go ahead and create content, and whatever is important or valuable to a Chad, I could essentially more attract more Chads into, from the internet into my life, and just get better in that aspect of my life. Because it's very interesting, you know, it's like you could literally attract whoever it is that you want as long as you find one of those people to go ahead and ask you questions and turn that into content. Because the way that you would speak to them is essentially how you go ahead and speak to somebody else on the internet and you could pull, that energy will pull more of those types of people from the internet, right? The next thing that you wanna go to do, get them on the phone, man. Get them on the phone. What I like doing when, whenever I'm starting any type of product is creating a bunch of content and essentially getting them on the phone. Having some t simple link to go ahead and book a call in like all like my bios and descriptions and just having them book a call. I want to know generally who's like watching my content. I generally want to know like who are the types of people that are following, you know, me when I'm at my most authentic. And what I want to do is just get on the phone with them. I ask them like what, what, what content brought you in? What resonated with you? And if I like them, guess what? I'll make more of that content. If I don't like them, I'll make less of that content. It's very simple. Why do you think I'm making more of the content right now like this? Because this is generally what people that I talk to that I generally want to spend more time with want to know about. So of course I'm going to go ahead and for example create more content like this because it's more authentic to who I am and it's going to attract more people to me that I generally want to go ahead and hang out with. And then what you want to do is just sell them in a community, man. Get them in a Telegram group, get them in a Facebook group, get them in something, do weekly calls with them, maybe have some of your friends that also have some results that they want and just sell that. Sell that. Sell it $1,000 a year. $1,000 a year. You do what this guy did, even if you just got, like for example, a hundred, right? That's a hundred people that are just like you, where you could travel around the world with. That's already minimum six figures a year. And if you go ahead and sell, upsell, like for example, events and all those things, and at those events you went and created content, you, you're looking at an easy seven figure a year business with just a hundred people, just a hundred people that are just like you, and then you'll never have to feel lonely ever again. Does that make sense, right? And that is literally kind of what a lot of people in my circle are doing around me. They're building communities. They're, they're the leaders or the presidents or whatever of the communities that they're essentially building. And they're all using it with their personal brand, which obviously if you need help with that, then you could book a call with us so we could actually help you do exactly what we did for my business, for your business as well. All you gotta do is just book a call in the link below.